What is going on, guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about the Brave Arsenal weapons, of course, that will be available in the new mode on April the 9th in the Into the Light update. A lot of people in the community were not happy after the live stream when they found out that all of the weapons were not going to be available on April the 9th, and you would not be able to get all of the weapons until probably the end of May. So they were going to give you the first six weapons, and then the last six weapons were going to be spaced out by dropping one weapon per week. And this was a kind of a complaint from the community uh, because a lot of these weapons have their own kind of quest and they have a uh, limited edition uh, a li a limited edition variant of these weapons that are only available until June, right before the final shape comes out. And a lot of people felt like if you were going to be able to farm these and of course then farm the limited edition variants of these weapons, that releasing them you know, on a weekly schedule was not a good idea. So yesterday, kind of late in the evening, the Destiny 2 team put out a tweet saying, first up, we've seen the feedback on releasing additional weapons each week after the first six drop on April the 9th, and we're considering the schedule to release everything by April 30th rather than May 21st. We still think it's important to have fresh rewards to look forward to in the first few weeks, and we want to pack the first half of Destiny 2 into the light before we introduce more playable content in the second half. Let's talk about the guaranteed limited edition uh, variants and weapon drop rates. It says, by completing the quest, you are guaranteed to get a curated limited edition variant of each weapon. The team has picked some hot perk combos for these, and, we will, uh, and they will all come with a unique, shiny visual. So even if you do not have a lot of time, you'll be able to walk out of Destiny 2's Into the Light with a limited edition variant of all 12 Brave Weapons with excellent rolls and over a month to complete the straightforward quest. Earning your own limited edition God Roll is meant to be a very exclusive reward and that should require some effort, which is why we wanted to make some, assure everyone can get at least one awesome limited edition variation of each weapon through the quest. The weapon drop rate during Destiny 2's End of the Light will be among the highest in Destiny history. So they're really looking to push, you know, the limited edition of the weapons, talking about how you know the drop rates are going to be great, and also correcting the one thing that a lot of people were upset with, and that was uh, the first six weapons only coming out on April the 9th, and the last six weapons being spread out over pretty much six weeks until the end of May. So this seems like it's going to be a, a better solution than what we did have. Uh, instead of you know not being able to get the last weapon until May the 21st, you should now be able to get all the weapons if this all goes through by April the 30th. And I think this will give people more time to farm uh, you know the special limited edition variants. Also farm just the regular rolls. Now they have said that uh, the new game mode Onslaught will be moved uh, over to pretty much the Vanguard playlist or the Ops playlist once the final shape is released. So this is not going anywhere. I hope they continue to add to this Onslaught mode. This is something that a lot of people have wanted for a really long time. A lot of people feel like it's just kind of a filler, and it probably is, you know, since the final shape is supposed to have already been released, but it did get delayed. But I'm hoping this mode is something they continue to add to uh, as time goes forward because it's something that a lot of people have asked for even since Destiny 1. But it looks like uh, they have been listening to the community. We're going to get some good drop rates. It seems like we're going to get some uh, guaranteed limited edition variants. And, of course, they finally have kind of, I guess, almost given in to what the community wants. And that's a good thing, in my opinion, as well, to be able to push these weapon drops up a little bit. That way we're not playing until almost the time the final shape is released before you can get all the weapons from the new Onslaught mode. And if they're even adding more things to into the light in the second half of it. Uh, this is going to give people plenty of things to do, and you still won't feel like you're rushed to be able to get all these weapons and all of the limited edition variants before the final shape does release. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.